Sierra from PinkCricket.com, and today I'm playing in my Cricut Craft Room. So, if you guys want to join me, today I'm going to show you how to link a cartridge to your Cricut Craft Room. Now, the important thing to know is that if your cartridge is already linked to your Gypsy, you will not be able to link it to your Cricut Craft Room. If you have not linked it to your Gypsy, you can link it to your Cricut Craft Room, and then after doing that, you can link it to your Gypsy. You just can't do it the other way around yet. They are working on a fix for that, but now I will just show you how to link your cartridge straight to Cricut Craft Room. So, what you're going to do is I am linking the Artiste cartridge from close to my heart. So, I'm just going to scroll down here and find that cartridge. So, I need to click on All Cartridges. And close to my heart are teeth. Here we go. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pick a shape off here. It doesn't matter what shape we pick. There's a lot of good <laughs> shapes on here, by the way. I love, love, love this cartridge. So I'm so glad that I remembered that I need to link it to my credit crafting first. Okay, so then when I, once I put it on my mat, then I want to cut it. And it says that I cannot cut it, but I'm going to click cut anyway. It says, close to my heart, artiste cartridge, successfully detected. So I'm going to go ahead and click link cartridge. It gives me all of this information here, and I just have to accept. It just tells you you won't be able to link it to any other Cricut account. Now it's linked. It links much faster than it links to my Gypsy. So I'm going to click OK. That's it. Now, when I'm ready to cut from this cartridge, I won't have to load it every single time. That's all there is to it. And if I'm ready to load another one and link it, then I can do that now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.